So the California Department of Justice just sent out a cease and desist letter to Juggernaut Tactical in regards to their new AR-15 that they were claiming was featureless in the state of California. So let's talk about this. But real quick, before we jump to this video, if you think the state of California needs to stop violating our Second Amendment rights, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I also want to give a shout out to one of the main supporters of this channel, which is USCCA. Through your membership, you get training, education, and self-defense liability protection. So if you carry a firearm, I highly recommend you take a look into USCCA, and I'll put a link to them down in the details section. So like I said in the intro, in this video, I have an important update for you on the Juggernaut Tactical new AR-15 that they were planning to sell, and they were claiming was a featureless rifle. We just got a notice in a bulletin from the California Department of Justice essentially saying that they do not believe that this rifle is a featureless rifle and they believe it is a so-called assault weapon in the state of California. Now, I wasn't planning on putting out a video today, but this is something that popped up that I thought needed to be addressed immediately, especially for those of you who did actually put in pre-orders for this rifle. So now let's take a look at the cease and desist letter that was actually sent to Juggernaut Tactical. Um, I'm going to put a link to this or I'll put up pictures so you guys can see this as well. It says to who it may concern, the Department of Justice recently became aware that Juggernaut Tactical has asked California firearms dealers to sell the F-15 featureless rifle. It appears that the entire featureless series of rifles, including the F-9, F-10, and F-15 featureless rifles are available for purchase on Juggernaut's website. Juggernaut's website describes each of these three rifles as including a newly designed lower receiver that drops the exposed portion of the trigger, which allows you to keep standard pistol grip while remaining featureless. For the reasons explained below, the department has determined that all three of the Juggernaut's featureless series rifles are assault weapons under California Penal Code Section 30515, subdivision A1, big A. Accordingly, the manufacturer distribution, transportation, importation, keeping for sale, offering for sale, or exposing for sale of the featureless series rifles in California is prohibited under California Penal Code Section 30600, subdivision A. A violation of of this provision is a felony subject to a maximum punishment of eight years in prison. Moreover, the mere possession of a featureless series rifle in California is a misdemeanor pursuant to California Penal Code Section 30605, subdivision A. To avoid a violation of these provisions, Juggernaut must no longer offer for sale its featureless series rifles to California residents on its website and cancel any pending transactions. Juggernaut must also cease encouraging licensed firearms dealers in California to sell its featureless series rifles. A separate bulletin will be sent to all California licensed firearms dealers, instructing them not to process the sale of any Juggernaut featureless series rifle. So essentially there it's just saying they are going to stop the sale of these. They got to stop taking the pre-orders. They're going to notify all FFLs and gun dealers that they cannot uh, sell these. They cannot transfer these. These are considered assault weapons. And if they continue to do this, there are going to be serious penalties, felony penalties for um, actually juggernaut tactical and also potential misdemeanor penalties if someone actually becomes in possession of one of these rifles. And then it goes into their whole description, I guess, rationale of how they came to this determination. It states, department has concluded that all three rifles in the featureless series, the F9, F10, and F15, fall within the plain language of these provisions. It is clear from the picture of these rifles on Juggernaut's website that the pistol grip allows for a pistol style grasp in which the web of the trigger hand between the thumb and the index finger can be placed beneath or below the top of the exposed portion of the trigger while firing. Juggernaut's website claims that this definition does not apply because the proper way to grasp a pistol grip is for the trigger hand to be high on the grip. If the trigger hand is high on the grip, so the website asserts, then it is beneath or below the top of the exposed portion of the trigger. But the regulatory definition applies if the trigger hand can be placed beneath or below the top of the exposed portion of the trigger, regardless of whether, or sorry, regardless of where the trigger hand allegedly should be placed. And Juggernaut's website admits that there are a number of ways one could hold a firearm pistol grip while firing in which the web of the hand falls below the top of the exposed trigger. This can equally be said for the rifles in the featureless series. The description for each rifle in the featureless series even admits that each rifle allows you to keep a standard pistol grip. Juggernaut's website acknowledges that Juggernaut is trying to effectively rewrite the applicable regulatory definition to make its featureless series rifles fall outside the definition of an assault weapon. The website claims that the regulatory definition's use 
of can be placed is not consistent with the legislative intent. Moreover, the website argues the definition should be rewritten to replace allows with the design to allow and to replace can be placed with intended to be placed. But wishing the regulatory language was different does not make it so. Juggernaut's website makes clear that the justification for the legality of the featureless rifle series is based on a regulatory definition that Juggernaut wishes existed as opposed to one that currently exists in law. The regulatory definition that Juggernaut is trying to avoid indeed applies. Moreover, none of the featureless series rifles meet the regulatory definition of featureless, which means a semi-automatic rifle or semi-automatic firearm, rifle, pistol, or shotgun, lacking the characteristics associated with the weapon as listed in Penal Code Section 30515. So that's actually an important paragraph right there. I just want to stop right there. That was a lot of concerns I had when I saw the brief that Juggernaut Tactical wrote out about why they thought that this was legal. I expressed a lot of those concerns also, and I anticipated that this is exactly what the DOJ would say. It doesn't matter what you wish the regulatory definition said. I wish there was a lot of different definitions in the state of California. I wish they wouldn't define these type of rifles at all as so-called assault weapons. But the fact is there is the firm language and the DOJ is always going to rely on what the language actually says. So this is something that I expressed concerns about in prior videos, and that's exactly what you're seeing the DOJ uh, use here. They're using the text. They're using the language. And it was really easy for them to just point to what the language actually says instead of what Juggernaut wishes it would say. The cease and desist letter then goes on to state that Juggernaut's attempt to explain how its featureless series rifles are not assault weapons also demonstrates that Juggernaut was fully aware of these provisions and intentionally designed these rifles in an attempt to do an end around around penal code section 30515. Juggernaut's website also mentions that the department became aware of what Juggernaut intended to do in early December of 2021. We have not yet received any phone calls, in-person contacts, or a cease and desist order from them. However, the department has no record of receiving any alleged notice. So there they're also saying that they never had any contact with the uh, company Juggernaut Tactical, although Juggernaut was saying that they had some sort of discussion with the DOJ. Here the DOJ is saying that they had no records at all of dealing with Juggernaut Tactical. So that's also interesting. And then it goes on, as previously stated, Juggernaut must immediately cease the manufacture, distribution, transportation, importation, keeping for sale, offering for sale, or exposing for sale of the featureless series rifles, including the F9, F10, F15 rifles in California. The failure to do so constitutes a violation of Penal Code Section 30600, Subdivision A. In lieu of referring this matter for possible criminal prosecution or any other possible legal action, at this time, the department has insisted deciding to send this cease and desist letter. Accordingly, please respond to this letter no later than February 22nd, 2022, and address how Juggernaut intends to immediately cease offering for sale on the website of these various rifles, immediately cancel all pending purchases of these rifles, immediately notifying anyone who has completed an online purchase of these rifles and has been delivered the rifle potentially also that they're in violation of penal code section 30605 subdivision a and four immediately retrieve and recover all of these rifles that have already been delivered to any california firearms dealer or any other entity that would sell these rifles in california so essentially they're saying there and i kind of anticipated this i talked about this in prior videos i thought that this was a very much gray area um they're saying, nope, this is a no-go, cease and desist. We are considering these to be so-called assault weapons. Um, stop selling them. Stop taking pre-orders for them. If you sent them to anybody, if you sent them to any gun stores, retrieve them, take them back. If anybody's in possession of them, take them back. This says that they're not going to do any uh, possible criminal prosecution at this time, as long as Juggernaut Tactical actually adheres to what they're saying to do here. So... To me, it was just a big gray area. I was very hesitant about ever acquiring one of these. Um, and here we got the very firm answer that, nope, the California DOJ is considering these to be so-called assault weapons, and they are going to stop the sale, distribution, transfer, and everything of these rifles that were created by Juggernaut Tactical. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Algor's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and a signal to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos in this type of two-way news. Again, thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell. You guys are directly impacting this channel, impacting these videos, and helping me to reach and educate and notify people more than I could have ever thought. So thank you so much for all of your support. 
So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget to stay with Built Barm Scholars and stay with Maintain Barm Scholars.